The Vintage Roast with Dana Doot and Jessica Montes. Welcome, everybody, to The Vintage Roast. Uh, we have a wonderful episode today. Uh, Jessica, hello. Hello. How are you doing, Dan? I'm doing very well. I'm uh, very excited about today's episode. One of my favorites, the Frugal Gourmet. Huge fan of the Frug, Jeff Smith. You know, he's got a troubled past. We all do. He was a convicted, non-convicted child molester. Accused? Out of, he, was set, he was accused. He settled out of court. So I think we can still enjoy watching his food videos. <laughs> but um, today's episode, what is today's episode? We're doing apples today. All apples. A whole All episode apples. on apples. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I mean, he's a man of the people. It seems like those first few clips, he was in like Colonial Williamsburg or something. <laughs> Weird B-roll for your cooking show. <laughs> Ah, take it in, Jeff. Take in Cabernet. Here we go. How are you? And welcome again to more American cooking. And this day, it is the apple. All right, so the apple isn't strictly American. You were nice to notice. Actually, uh, literally no the one apple noticed. Isn't American. It comes <laughs> to us from other lands, but the not one is, person noticed. As American, <laughs> even wait, he paused. Is certainly an he American paused. Market. How did that come about? Let's see how I do. Hang on to your history. Apples go back thousands of years, and we know that they were common in Asia Minor uh, and in, in Eastern Europe. They came, to, uh, they came into Europe and eventually came to America. Are you ready for this one? They came to America He's reading because of the off, Roman conquest. The Roman soldiers would take seeds with them right. when they were on conquest and plant them all over Europe. And eventually, by the time of Christopher Columbus, Apples were the largest and most important cultivated crop, not the most important crop, the most important cultivated crop in Europe. So he stole and those too and brought them over to America? Is that what he's yeah. saying? That's country. how it's now yeah, an American I fruit? I made them American. As they if Christopher Columbus wasn't bad enough, he brought us apples. <laughs> so I have all kinds of apples and wonderful things to show you. But first of all, I've got to warn you that some, um, some legends are really... Uh, uh, based more on truth than on fallacy, there was such a character as Johnny Appleseed. In the early 18, well, as a matter of fact, the year 1800, uh, who Unpacked. was a preacher on behalf of the Swedenborg Church, loving people who want to see um, a, a loving world community, set out from, from Western he's, Pennsylvania. I think he used to be a preacher, so he's got like this weird Christian knowledge. Bag, he like, did, this is the truth, he did wear a, a pot for his cap, a saucepan, and he set out across America and he got as far as, as western Indiana before he died in 1871. He planted seeds in 10,000 Why are we acres. having to hear this story? <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. He He's not even looking at so his nose. serve something to your children. For he just knows. Sense, uh, he knows that sure. one. Why does he just know this? A little thing? apple pie, perhaps, and then <laughs> give a, thanks of, uh, a bit of thanks for Johnny Appleseed. He did exist. All right. Thank apples. you, Johnny. Oh, my God. The best apples in the world, without question, no argument, are from Washington State. I promise you that that's the case. I'm telling wow. you this because that's fire. I have a big... That's where he's from, by the way. Oh, that's where he's from. And they were, they were marked Washington okay. apples, and of course I can tell, because I live there. Ah. This is the, the, the red delicious, that's our apple. This next one is a beautiful green one called Granny Smith, and this is my favorite cooking apple. Wonderful. Now, there are all kinds of other apples. I should show you a whole bunch of these. These are gorgeous. It's amazing. Things. This was before you had, like, delicious. the fast forward. Although you can't, you can't go 15 seconds fast. You, you have to literally raised. just and this one is a sit through this whole dumb delicious. history lesson. Looks like a delicious, but he's not quite. This is a golden again. This little bitty one is called a Jonathan. These are wonderful eating apples. They make very good pie. And then on this side is the famous Macintosh. You see, it's much rounder. Than the rate, than than a, the delicious. Is apple. this how many different apple well. dishes he plans right. on cooking? You don't want to cook with apples because you don't want to peel them. I don't know. Fuss, fuss, fuss. Let me show you something. I, don't I have know. a gadget. I've always got a gadget for you. By the this way, this is, is a wonderful before, device. Uh, I feel this like is an apple peeler corer, and it has. We've updated a lot of our apple you know games. This? Um, this there's the what's that the like shakers, hot apple that everyone wants? A, it's like a really crispy one. And we'll talk about them at another time. It's kind of like a sexy girl name. Uh, ingenious people uh, and very much committed know. to good Hold cooking. On. And one of the things they did was to invent not only the clothespin, 
Yes, the Shakers did that. But this apple machine, let me show how it works. What apple you do machine. is to put an apple on the machine. See? Just poke it in the old... Uh, there we are. And turn the crank. Now watch, watch the... Here's the blade, and this is the cutter. And this is, this is right in the slice. Blade. Well, never mind. You'll see. This is just one of those things that you, you, you see gadgets, and they actually work, and you're so shocked that it works that it's, I mean, it's a little bit uh, terrifying. That's there pretty cool, but it is... Pull off. Watch this now. You simply pull off the apple. <laughs> also terrifying. All ready to go. That's pretty cool. And this, I can simply <laughs> run a couple cuts to it. And we is have that an apple. old apple? It's a great thing. It's called uh, an apple peeler cord. The, the guy who makes these is in uh, Seattle, Washington, if you can believe this. It's called the Norpro people. You can find all things, them. All things Washington, the market, But most of them don't work this well. All right, let me get rid of this. I've already peeled my apples. And we're going to begin today with several dishes that I think you're really going to enjoy. First of all, uh, in the old days in the colonies, it was very common to cook apples and cabbage. Pink lady. Now, I know that that's the apple I was thinking of. That was, the, cabbage, that was the hot chick apple the I was time. thinking of. And of course, so <laughs> would the apples. So in the middle of the winter, for a marvelous special vegetable dish, you made apples and cabbage. This one is a snap. Let me show it to you. That's disgusting. I have in my pan. Yeah, that sounds very gross. Just, just apples beginning and to warm cabbage? up again, a bit of bacon. Where was this? And the bacon needs to be apples and cabbage and bacon. Again. We're going to throw in some onions. <laughs> We're just going to saute some onions in the bacon fat. There's about three slices of nice thick bacon. What have I done with all my onions here? Wrong pot. Let's see. I've got a pot of onions here somewhere. Um, well, I'll have to cut some onions. Where are the onions, gang? Here we are. They're right in front of me. No wonder. Literally right there. I saw them the whole... My girl from <laughs> Chicago wrote me a letter that said, I love your show because you always lose things. She's that's the story of my life. I'm sorry, but we're in the same boat. Ooh, okay. junior high so school girl eats that. He was dropping hints about three, all along. Three nice uh, thick slices, not that thin stuff. You want to throw in one yellow onion all chopped up. That looks and like a white onion. I'm calling bullshit, Bring that up to Jeff. <laughs> That's a fucking white onion. That. And then you want to add <laughs> about three Granny Smith apples using that wild gadget. I just love it. There we go. These are soaked in salt. Did you know that salt water will keep your apples from turning brown? Just a little bit of salt water to a quart of water, put about I'm a tablespoon of, of the salt, and then soak the apples in that very liquid, and they will not turn brown on you. That's the truth. I mean, it's kind of a I fun fact, but also right? so much effort Cut for, for, now. You see, I've already peeled, for so apples. Gonna happen. Look at this. Especially one, when you're going to cook it right away, right? Yeah, sausage. you're going to cook it. Who cares? So you're easy. cooking it in bacon. To, like, it's going to be very easy brown. To cook with apple because, oh, it's too much work. It's not work. It's not work. If you have a good kitchen, well, you can just cook with anything. All right, three Granny Smith apples into the pot with the bacon. With the brown and bacon. of course, the... <laughs> onion, White onions. Onion, White bacon, onions. and apples and cabbage. That's really what we have here. A little salt and pepper. And this is a very common dish... Uh, in the early days on the frontier, or it was very common in colonial times. I happen to know that. Yeah, Mr. on the frontier, the before we could set up Jefferson, cities and not have to eat apples and cabbage kind of anymore. <laughs> now, the cabbage goes in next. <laughs> Why would we want to uh, recreate right. this? <laughs> this is frontier and I have a whole cooking. pot full of cabbage here for two nice heads. The whole point of the frontier corn. was to finally not the have a frontier be, uh, and deal course. with this type of living. Can I get all of this into the kettle? I don't know if I can make it or not. There we are. Two or three nice heads, depending on how big the cabbage is. I have about a five-quart uh, kettle here. Kettle? So we're going to fill that up. It's a pot. It I love it. It's, it's suddenly a kettle because he's cooking just fine by itself. frontier food. Now, well, well I'm going to put it my cabbage in the kettle. And the seasonings, of course. It's a, it's you got that tip from TJ Maxx, Jeff. I'm using my big... You really crammed that cabbage in there. I, mean, oh, cabbage. I love this thing. <laughs> All right, that's quite a bit of pepper. I love it. It has an old-timey pepper, pepper mill, too. Right. And then we want to add the for all that cabbage. Mm, nice pinch of salt. Yeah, that was uh, like the, the flavoring that was an eighth of a special. teaspoon of pepper for Whole 30 pounds of seed, cabbage. Please, about a half <laughs> teaspoon. There we go. Whole caraway. Don't use that ground up stuff. I don't even can buy ground caraway, but some people try and buy anything ground, and I don't like it. And some white wine, very dry. It loves the white wine. Oh, the about fruit, half a cup. The fruit Just loves the white wine. Just to moisten this, you see? Put the lid on that. You're going to stir it up, of course, now and then. Like this much Put the lid on that and let it cook down. 
Yeah. And when you finish, let me change pots here. I'll show it to you. Oh, here comes the switch. The switcheroo. See, this is what I love about these shows, though. This is before. Oh, for, oh 25, 30 minutes. I don't All of the PBS shows had no commercial cuts, so they did the old. Apples and cabbage. All right, yes, we're that's there. Now this is what it's going to look like. No cutting. Wonderful food. You see how the cabbage is cooked down? This how is long a did that take? dish. I know that in the old days, this was not just a vegetable dish. By old days, I mean during the latter 1600s and the early 1700s. This was not just a a vegetable dish, but this was a main meal. You'd have I mean, a little bit of I, I think I might. Pork. I, I think I might eat my word here. That actually that. does look kind of good. Imagine keeping your I don't know. I don't. I really that does not look good to me. I could see like delicious. having all like right. a stout, First of all, like a beer, and having that. Use cabbage with apples to make it sweet on and delicious. A uh, with a bit of bacon, Maybe. white on a, on wine, Reuben. salt and pepper, and caraway. That's what gives it that special, delicious flavor. All right, next one. I've got to get my Chinese wok going, and you're going to say, "Well, that isn't colonial." No. Uh, it's not that it's colonial or not colonial, it's that uh, this oh is the most clever version of the frying pan that we've ever found. The oh Chinese boy. invented this. So I'm going to heat up my frying he's, pan. He's, get, he's getting into some in dicey meantime, cultural territory. Uh, I'm going to First of all, he called it a Chinese wok. <laughs> what other cultures have woks? Steak. Isn't every is wok a Chinese wok? This sort of thing. And I've deboned it. You see, there's a bone right here. See? Take the bone out of this and then just cut it up into strips. What is that? Oh, I'm trying to give you the answers. Quarter of an inch? Uh, no. What is that, how about, chicken? How about eighth of an inch? Is that uh, about, uh, about right? An eighth of an inch in, uh, uh, in, di in uh, circumference. So for that, we want a couple of tablespoons Wait, of light soy. Wait, eighth of an inch soy. in circumference? Now, soy, it's it's not circumference. Sauce. Circumference Look is a this. circle. It's not muddy. It's an eighth of an, eighth see, of an inch all. in couple thickness. Of tablespoons. <laughs> There not circumference. And he's just trying to sound smart. Sherry. I'm telling you, he's pulling all the shit out of his ass. <laughs> you remember now, we've cooked together long enough. I don't mean <laughs> sherry that has salt in it. That's cooking sherry. Blech. Sherry that you can cook with. Dry cocktail sherry is what the Chinese use. And then, of course, a bit of... Why am I cooking Chinese food? Well, because I'm trying to tell you that the apple's very versatile. And I'm going to adapt a Chinese dish... Is that an apple I want about a or ginger? That's of fresh ginger. ginger. Here's okay. the hand of ginger or okay. finger, you see. And a little bit of this little bitty ginger grater. It looks like a kind of a scrub board for a tiny oh, person. Oh, wow, he leaves the not. skin on, the there ginger. Marinate the I the feel like you should take the skin off of the ginger. The oh, it's Chinese pork. triune, uh, light soy, sherry, and a bit of ginger. Now we're going to start that cooking. There we go. Marinate that. Don't to take oh, off let's the wedding say, ring. Let's say 15 minutes, huh? Uh, right. I'm not going to bother with that now, but give it about 15 minutes. Is the pan hot yet? Now, notice again, I'm telling you again, for heaven's sakes, hot pan or hot wok cold oil, foods won't stick. So into that pan, I'm going to put some, the pan's very hot now. You see, it's Oh, my God. That's what we want. Can I tell you something? I remember this now from, like, when I was in middle school. The pork. That really? he would always say that. Hot this pan, cold oil, no sticking. I mean, pork and apples. I'm sorry. That's, like, one of his things. Oh, that just brought back some fun, about, uh, warm, fuzzy memories. About a half would be plenty, I think. Let that cook for a bit. There we are. I always have so many things I want to do for you at once that I get very frustrated when I realize we're not going to have enough time to do all of these things, but that's all right. You got it, Frug. All right. You got it, Jeff. He's cooking away. He only has eight different the apple apples. Will be added make. later very easily. <laughs> this is just a stupendous dish because the apples have natural sugar, of course, and it'll add a wonderful flavor to this. Did he so add apples? I now too? want to add not about yet. To, oh, okay. oh, Four cloves of garlic. You gotta bring out that little apple like that. torture contraption. This time, I'm going to just <laughs> the slice mill. them in. Into the old pan for apples and pork. No, it's not apples Chinese. And... The Chinese don't do much with apples anymore. Is that all? Yeah, because you, you shouldn't put apples Chinese in Chinese food. <laughs> so or the Chinese I do honestly do it, however, cooked apples in a savory in corn, anything. I'm I'm not yams, that into. And. Uh, Peanuts, I've had apple chicken, and that was pretty good. All right, four really? Of garlic yeah. Into our disgusting. one and a half pounds I of hate it. pork it was pretty steak, trimmed and sliced. With rice, it's like apple chicken again. rice. And, uh, but why is he making this fish? If it's not even a ginger and sherry. I don't know. He's just like now. He's just like he's freestyling. You don't have to overcook. Throwing apples in anything. Oh, when I was going to make apple tacos after this. Don't do that. Then I want a whole yellow onion that I've already sliced up. I'm white onion, you throw this freaking liar. Today, I'm not going to slice an onion for you and give the old oh, the whitest onion, onion ever seen. Ben, onion. <laughs> give me a break. I want you to cook with the apples. All right, the onions go in the pot. Chow this for a bit. 
And then finally, we're gonna add our apples. Yeah. So it's apples, onions, and then some the other apples. ingredient. You remember now the, the apple apples, as so I've far. told you, have already been yeah. uh, cranked Cork. out on that wonderful machine, so it's not gonna take much to, uh, to um, peel them, or slice them up, I should say. I want about three here. I get such a bang out of that device. <laughs> I love that he yeah, just made really, this up. Is, this is all just one Three big apples. ad now, these for that apple are, are granny, contraption. Or you can use yellow delicious. As I think like his, his, his cousin must Let's have started the, the company. I have some here somewhere. He, he put some, those, huh? Jeff put some of his money in it. And he's trying to sell <laughs> that machine. The yellow delicious looks just like the red delicious, of course, except that it is yellow. And I oh. think that's the only place where Truth the um, family <laughs> bloodline... Uh, Holds true. I think that I think it's really a completely different creature. Bloodline. Somebody in Washington Are we talking State about? Send me a letter and tell me what kind of Aryan bloodline apple shit you know, is going State on? <laughs> this apple is the purest bloodline of, of apples. What we call eating apples. You know the table apples in America. Are those the ones Columbus brought that over? Until I started doing yeah. research for this show, <laughs> I had no idea. I'm just going to cut them in half now, and of course that means that I now have. Wonderful thin slices, you see. Oh, he loves that machine. Pot, this is a corn. this is a sleeper infomercial <laughs> the pork for that apple machine. There we are. Yeah, well, it should have been. Cook your pork a little bit longer than I am today because this is quite. He was quite, thinking smart. Quite done. Could have been a sponsor. A Ironically, that that we'll contraption bit. is definitely we'll out of business because now it's there being made go. in China. <laughs> this, this was all prophecy while he's making there this Chinese dish. There we are. All right, <laughs> apple and pork. No. We have to add much more to that. If oh you my like God! Pepper, that That's would be awful. Fine. We can try a little That's pepper. So bad. <laughs> but the other thing that I want you to, to, to think about—I mean, uh, could is they be the bigger? Like, what is he doing? Sesame oil. Oh. Put in oh half a tablespoon of sesame oil. Some you rice. Can find that in any next. Oriental market. Don't buy it in a health food store because that has not been—that um, has not been toasted. And I don't want you to use that. And finally, some green onions. Oh, two or three chopped up. Isn't this great? Fried apples for dinner? Have you thought about this? And no, pepper. no one's about thought about this. <laughs> for a good reason. Freshly cracked black pepper. Don't use that other stuff, for heaven's sakes. We're cooking American because the apple has been with us from the very beginning. You are making with Chinese the food, of course, of, Jeff. Of the Native American. You just he said we're cooking comes American. A little bit later. And you're making Chinese food. And they were brought by the Europeans. And, and by the way, he's reminding thing. us that the apple isn't okay, even American. Okay, put the lid on that. Just let that cook a bit, and we'll dish it up later, all right? What is he talking about? There. I don't know. Silence don't is know. wonderful. What's next? I've got so many things I want to show you today. Oh, look at the papers. Check this one. I have a pot, and in this pot, I have placed one beef brisket. Ooh. We didn't brown him or anything. I simply trimmed him of fat, put him in the kettle. Oh. And what I'm going to do now... <laughs> is to take him out of it. Let me tell you what I've done with him. I gotta say, I did not see this coming. I cooked the beef brisket. I did not see. Along with one large a... yellow onion. It's white onion. A couple onion. cloves of garlic. <laughs> you see, he's sitting, he's just, he's nicely done. A couple cloves of garlic and about 10 whole cloves. I mean the, the spice clove, you know? That's, that fork's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to use a pot fork. You know the difference between the two? This is a pot fork because it can take a big chunk of meat in a pot. This is a wooden fork that you normally use for stirring your pot. I prefer this normally, but on occasion when you have a big chunk of meat, a wooden fork's not going to do. It's a long waste metal of time. Long waste of time to say, I need the metal fork instead. All right. Now, this <laughs> like, is going you to didn't go have to explain that to us, Bruce. going to go in a baking dish. We'll just leave everything else behind unless there's a big chunk of meat in there. Nope, we're fine. Come on, frugal means you check the pot and twice, right? Wait, how long does this take to cook? He doesn't say. He just raised it, chef. doesn't tell right. you how. He just said, huh? oh, here's and a finished braised brisket, by the way. And now let me, rather than tell you how I made it, I'm going to spend and the glaze that we're 40 gonna seconds this, talking about why I need a metal fork instead of a wooden glaze. fork to get it out of the pot. <laughs> For my apple glaze, get a burner going oh, here. Oh, we're going to glaze oh, oh, apple meat. glaze it's, it's on brisket? Now and it's vomit enough, town. To, uh, to on boiled brisket. Oh, it's kind of cooked and that is done. So the now least I do appetizing great. looking thing so I've I'm ever seen on a food, food show ever. The following ingredients for you. Ready? <laughs> I want a one ten ounce jar. Ready for this? Of apple jelly. Oh, oh my God! Love Not apple an apple. This oh is my God. One ten ounce jar of apple jelly. Apple jelly. Right out of the jar into the pan. 
and to that you're going to add a third of a cup of dry white wine. If you're not getting all this recipe, don't worry about it. It's in the cookbook. No, I'm not getting your cookbook. And now cookbook, I'm confusing Rouge. even further because I do we have not want several to cookbooks make out. Be sure that you find this recipe in the American cookbook. And please don't write me and say, you dog, I looked for the recipe in your cookbook and it wasn't there. Well, we've been together a long time, so there are lots of cookbooks and lots of recipes, and uh, we just have to get the right ones. You dog. Right. One third of a cup of white wine, dry, 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 no salt in it. Mustard. There's many books to be purchased. And Dijon is a oh, yeah. wonderful he's, mustard from France. Apparently, he's got a whole library of made books. in this country. I'm using Grey Poupons. It's an American product, though it has a kind of a French background. And I want to Ooh, add Grey Poupon a of American? green onions that I didn't I've know chopped that. up. <laughs> do you remember those commercials back that's in the day? A, that's two. That's Pardon a, me, do you have and any Grey Poupon? A little bit of Isn't pepper. French? Yeah, I thought it was French, too. So. You know, it's a big piece of meat. There we are. And finally, are you ready for the clincher? Are you ready? A you shot of curry. A little bit of curry. Oh... Huh. Maybe three fourths of a teaspoon. That should be mm. about right. Is that about right for you? That's how you measure. That's exactly three fourths of a teaspoon. <laughs> okay, maybe. Oh, like my not. There we are. Now cook that up till the the jelly this melts. Little, this little and hand move begins to does. blend. It'll not take long for you. Whoops! I have to go back to my uh, pork dish. Let's see what's happening. Pork and apples, huh? I think it's time to stir this. Oh, look at. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's done. And oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's Yum. Done. It I'm is. sorry. I, you know, I keep apologizing to you that you can't smell these things. That's terrific. Let's dish it up right now while the jelly melts, huh? I wish I could smell oh, that. Let's dish it up right now while As the jelly melts. No, what kind of a deal is that? <laughs> there we are. Apples and pork. Now, this becomes a whole meal, of course. Apples, pork, and two kinds of onions, along with a basic Chinese marinade. You said it was ginger, just yellow onions. Soy. It did add green. And a little bit of that's right. sherry. And no, I'd but that was green peppers. Oil though. at the end, just Wasn't for kids. Green peppers, and perhaps some black pepper. I mean, this sort of looks there like the are. cabbage dish. Oh boy, yeah. That's <laughs> the burner shut off. It's just one. It thing. looks exactly Put like the cabbage off. dish. Start Put it next to it. With one same thing. Oh, there. It's a little browner. <laughs> it apple is a major It's the same dish. Because it's just in a different. American. Yeah, it's in a different dish. Okay, one's in a bowl and one's in a plate. Mustard, apple jelly, glaze. Oh God. Is ready. Everything is and tan. I'm pour, just Everything pour is tan the, in this episode. Pour it over my brisket just, and put it in the oven again. The oh my God! So to, just to, to reiterate, oh, this is half an melted so. apple jelly <laughs> going on a brisket that we did. I have no idea how it was Don't made. Put all the glaze on it. You just one know it three or four exactly how it was forked process. out. <laughs> we have no idea how it was made. Let me show you what you have. I'll get this one off the stove because I have one ready for you. But of course. Oh, Ouch. I wonder what color it is. Where is it? There it is. Love this. It's <laughs> always good to find something on the first time through, huh? I gotta say, I love his uh, cookware. Like, he's got all these cool, old school blades. ceramic, like, Le Cruzetti looking oh, things. Uh -huh. stuff. They're yeah. very fun. Mm. You'll enjoy that. Because those the, handles. the apple gives it a, a kind of cleansing I feel like flavor. he was trying to like trick. He's like, you will enjoy that. He was like trying to sweet. Jedi us to like it. You will enjoy That's it, I promise. About an apple. Right. Wonderful apples. They're great for cooking. Well, I just enjoy them. I, eat I mean, them, that looks the best so far no now out of the oven. I love to cook with yeah. them. When you finish this, I want you to, add, when this comes out of the oven, I want you to add a, a bit of apple juice to the recipe and to make the gravy a bit richer. How long did so it I'm take for it to, the pan in the oven? I want you to cook that nope. down. Nope. You know what I mean? How dare you Reduce ask? That a bit, Get the cookbook. Slice your meat and pour that over the top. No, nope. oh, I have so many other don't things I want to show questions. you. I can't believe. Pour it. some apple juice to I make sure you get the apple in the oven. Yeah, he just put. By the way, he just poured Found it. <laughs> cold apple juice on top this of this one, whole thing. He didn't like reduce it or anything. We just tell me to throw some apple juice on top. I don't think that matters anyhow. You and I understand it. <laughs> on the, I the apple juice. Wait, what this? Batter. I fried them a little bit first. Put them on top of the batter, and then and then no uh, let the thing cook. The, the recipe will be in your hands. You just uh, find the old cookbook, and it's easy, so easy to do. I what can't are you? Believe it. What are you doing? What now you're just showing. Now you're just flexing. Colonial times. Now he's just flexing. He's like, check it out. I made this too. And I also trying to figure it out. Things here. Look at this one. Now <laughs> using like this machine for slicing. Is it all of the apple? Like this. Look what you can do with a tart. You okay? I love that. I baked the tart. The, the only thing he cooked was like the, the brown the slop, there it is. and then like the Baked pretty the tart, things. He's like, and then I also, covered it with marmalade, orange marmalade. <laughs> Give this a go. Figure it out. Pour it over the top. That's all you have to do. Is that? Yeah, that's all you have to do. Then why didn't you do it, Jeff? That's all you have to do. Why didn't you do it? It's an American product, and you and I should enjoy it.
the American Finally. product again. Back with the American product steak. that was brought over by that the European. Marinated. <laughs> this is this recipe is not mine. I stole it from a really dear friend. I'm oh, well, marinating what, what, this. I've already now there's flank, flank steak, steak out of nowhere. Piece of meat. Marinated a bit and I cooked it. <laughs> and what's the recipe? In a marinade of stole. apple butter. You'll get to know. And a little bit of soy and some onions and some garlic, so that you have some very interesting flavors. You see, the point of our lesson today is not that apples make great pie. I know they make great pie, but I, to be perfectly frank, am tired of apple pie. I don't Whoa. think I can deal with another one. I think what I want to do fire. is to think about the apple as an original American fruit. That is to say, it's been with us from the beginning so that we can cook unusual things. So today I have cooked for you. You did that. Apples with pork, an elegant dish that's easy to do. Apples and elegant, cabbage, which goes not. back to colonial times. <laughs> a beautiful apple tart, so simple. Apples baked Didn't show in a us cobbler. How it's made. Didn't show us an how it's apple made. apple butter, not butter. This one, I didn't. I forgot butter, this one made an appearance. And a lovely steak, and finally a brisket. <laughs> Another. And I put a lovely glaze on, using a tiny bit of curry and a great deal of apple jelly. Yeah, yeah. and then now, next and time you serve apple apples juice to your children, the for heaven's sakes, be sure and offer a prayer of thanksgiving for Johnny Appleseed, who did exist and really did wear a pan on his head and went all over the country for your sake and mine, planting apples. Until I see you again, then, I'm glad we could be together. Cook American, for heaven's sakes. We have wonderful things to celebrate. The apple. <laughs> Cook American, and for Omega. God's sake. Until enough of this again, immigrant then, bullshit. You well, feed your kids. <laughs> Come back to my kitchen soon. This is the Frugal Gourmet. I bid you peace. Bye. Thanks, you Jeff. Peace. That was a lovely episode of... It was lovely. Apples. <laughs> Learned all, a lot about apples. Not a lot about yeah. how to cook the apples. What's he doing now? Now it's like, all right, we're still... Just do some cleanup. He's got to do it all. <laughs> yeah. He's got to yeah. do it all. It's public TV. Like, just pretend he's doing... to be the credits. Let's see if he... What is he doing now? Now he's... Okay, closing his mustard. <laughs> like he doesn't have assistance. Give him, give this man some assistance. It's now he's just moving things. He's just moving things. <laughs> he never took a bite out of anything. We don't That's know. Right. He didn't eat anything. Um, and because he th he knows something, <laughs> everything he made was trash. I don't think there's anything there that I would really want to make. Not one thing I'd want. To cook not one thing. No. Well, as the frugal gourmet said, if if you liked any of those and you want to make them, go get the book. <laughs> Very fun episode. And until next time, uh, we bid you peace. Peace. Thanks for watching the Vintage Roast. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and tell what your favorite dish was.